Hi sir, good morning. Very good morning. Can I get your resume? Yes yeah, sir. Yeah, Bhagya Lakshmi, can you introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, sir. Myself, Nagabhagya Lakshmi. I am from Amalapuram and East Godavari district. Currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. My qualification is degree in the stream of B.Sc. Computer Science from Amalapuram SKBR College under Adhikavi Nanya University in the year 2022 with 80%. My, my aim is to become a software developer. My hobby is painting, cooking, craft. And my strengths are I will communicate with other people very easily. I am a self-motivated person. And I have good knowledge about on OOPS concepts and constructors, ASP.NET. And uh, my family consists of five members. My father name is Nageshwar Rao Garu. He is driver. And my mother name is Mangatai Garu. She is a housewife. I have one younger sister and one younger brother. That's it, sir. Okay, nice. Uh, so, getting into technical. Yes, sir. Uh, what is C Sharp? C Sharp is a most powerful programming language because it provides powerful futures to compare the other languages like C, C++, Java, Python, etc. Okay. What is ASP.NET? ASP.NET is a server-side page and it is not a language, it is a web technology which is used to, we can build the web applications. Okay. What is ADO.NET? ADO.NET is an ActiveX object. ADO.NET is used to, we can build the applications. Without ADWA.NET, uh, we can't interact with the data from the database. What is the database, like SQL Server? Yeah, database is uh, used to, we can store the data in the table forms. Database is an object. Table is nothing but uh, rows and columns. Okay. So, what is state management? State management. If you want to maintain the state of the controls, one page to another page, we need to go for state management techniques. What are the different state management techniques we have? Different uh, ASP.NET will support some kinds of uh, state management techniques, client side and server side. Client side view state query string and the server side application server and the server. Session. Session. So, what is uh, query string? Query string. Uh, we can main query string is also used to client side client side technique, and ASP.NET will supports to maintain the state of the control. And uh, query string is a maintain the within the page state. Okay. So, what are data types? Data types are two types: reference type and value type. Value type is uh, these data; these variables are stored in the directly into their memory location. These data is stored in the stack memory. Example: int float double. And uh, value reference type is these data stored in the value of the address. And these data stored in the stack memory. So, what are conditional statements? Conditional statements are two. There are two types: conditional branching and conditional loops. A conditional branching has uh, to execute the step-by-step -step process and uh, else if, nested if, etc. And uh, conditional looping will C# -sharp will contains four types of loops: while loop, do while loop, for loop, for each loop. Okay. So, uh, what is an array? Array, array, is a, array is a collection of uh, elements, group of objects. Uh, what is OOPS? OOPS? OOPS stands for Object Oriented Programming Language. Before OOPS, we have SOP, Structure Oriented Programming Language. The main aim of OOPS is security and reusability. How can we how can we get uh, security and reusability concepts? Uh, encapsul we can use encapsulation. Encapsulation is the binding of wrapping the members of your class along with the member functions. We need to create an object for class is mandatory. Okay. Uh, what is abstraction? Abstraction. Abstraction is the hiding the information, providing the services, and uh, display the wanted data, eliminates the unwanted data. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the well, inheritance is the process of deriving a nucleus from already existing a class. Inheritance will contains uh, single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hybrid inheritance. Uh, what is the polymorphism? Polymorphism means many. Morphism means behavior. A form will show different behaviors based on the input changes. There are two. There are two types: static and dynamic. Okay. What is ADO.NET? ADO.NET is a ActiveX data object. ADO.NET uh, will contains will use it to develop the applications. ADO.NET is a integral part of .NET framework. It is a set of native drivers. Yes. What is function overloading and function overriding? 
function overloading with uh, contains the same function name and uh, different signatures. Derived class is optional and we can't use any special keywords. It is a static polymorphism and uh, function overriding means the uh, same function name and the uh, same signatures. Derived class is mandatory. We can't uh, create, we can't use uh, base class override keyword in derived class, virtual keyword in base class. It is a dynamic polymorphism. What is the abstract class? Abstract class will contain implemented methods and non-implemented methods. Abstract keyword is used to create an abstract class. We can't create a, an object for abstract class. We need to reference object. Okay. Now what is interface? Interface will contain only non-implemented methods. Interface keyword is used to create an interface class. We can't create an object for interface. We can reference object. What is, what is DML? DML means data manipulation long base. Insert, update, select. What about DDL? DDL means data definition language, create, truncate, drop, alter. So, what are the different uh, difference between uh, truncate and the delete? Yeah, sir. Truncate is uh, used to to delete the all the records from the table. And delete means, uh, for example, we are create a, one employee information. Uh, one, delete you one record, we can use delete command. In C sharp, uh, what is CLR? CLR means common long ways runtime. CLR, we can build the four elements CLS, CTS, JIT, and GC. What is JIT? JIT means just in time. MSIL is converted into native code with the help of JIT compiler. Operating system can only understand native code. What is MSIL? MSIL means uh, Microsoft uh, Intermediate Language. Okay. What is CLS? CLS means Common Language Specification. Each and every language have its own terms and conditions. Uh, there are two points. And Language Interoperability and Manager Code and Unmanager Code. What is Managed Code? Manager Code means a code which will be executed with the help of a CLR to display the output. It is called CLR. It is called Manager code and unmanager code means uh, a code which will be executed without the help of CLR to display the output is called unmanager code. Okay. What is CTS? CTS means common type system. Each and every language have its own data types. There are two types of data types, value types and reference types. Okay. What is value type and what is reference type? Value type means these variables are stored in the directly into their memory location. These data stored in the stack memory, example int flow double. And reference type variable means these data is stored in the value of the address. These data stored in the heap memory. Have any questions? No, sir. Nice.